for $19.50. So it's always important. On hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about my bread and butter bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. These items I sold on eBay. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Now, these are my bread and butter bolos, which means I paid little for them and sold them for $35 or less on eBay. So the first one is this patch. And a lot of people pass by these, especially if they're not in perfect condition. This one is old. It's vintage. It's a harder to find patch. And I thought, I'm going to try it. I do not specialize in patches. I know absolutely nothing about patches. I simply wrote what was on the patch in the title and took a picture of it. I sold this for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. So I'm not even sure what this is. LMC keeps the candle burning. REE 1978. So I don't know what any of that means. Maybe you do, but somebody apparently did because they bought it. The next item is this vintage Play School Sesame Street replacement doors, green hoppers, store house. Um, if you guys are new here, I like to sell replacement parts. So what I do is any, if I find like a damaged dollhouse or um, a dollhouse that has discoloring, different things like that, I will take it apart and I will sell the pieces. And a lot of times you can make more doing that, but um if it's a complete house, I don't usually do that. It really just depends on the situation. But I picked this up at the Goodwill Benz. Um, for this situation, I can't remember if, I think it had a broken piece on it, but I'm not 100% sure. But by weight, it would not have been beneficial to buy the entire house either way. Um, so what I did is I took the doors off of the house. Um, or it was like a, it was a store. It wasn't a house. So you guys have to use your best judgment. Can you make more selling it complete or can you make more piecing it out? For these two items right here, I got $28 plus shipping. So the buyer was all in for $35.65. And again, I'm not 100% sure. It might be in one of my Goodwill Benz videos when I actually found the item and took the doors off. I'm not 100% sure, so... Uh, that took a little while to sell. Typically on items like this that are replacement parts, you do have to wait on the right buyer, somebody who is looking for those parts. This is a vintage 2000 Arthur B PBS Kids Mark Brown minifigure bunny. Hard to find. So yeah, you're looking at it, guys. Uh, can you believe this sold? Uh, I kind of cannot. <laughs> I got this out of a mystery box. It was a toy box, if I remember correctly, from Auctions for You. She sells mystery boxes here on um, YouTube. Definitely check her out. I sold this bunny for $19.50. So it's always important on these small minifigures, especially the ones that are um, vintage and you haven't seen them before, use Google Lens, look them up. Don't be afraid to price those items high because they're harder to find. $19.50 plus shipping. $27.16 is what the buyer was all in for. So don't be afraid. You have to be patient. It might not sell right away, but it will sell eventually. Well, I guess I can't guarantee that, but it should sell eventually. <laughs> All right. The next item is this Mega Constructs Pokemon Jumbo Poke Ball Set. Replacement light bag only. This is another one where I have taken a Lego set. Um, one of the bags was open. So what I did is I parted, parted it out. <laughs> That's a hard word to say. And I sold the ones that were still in the bags in individual listings. So this one right here sold for $11 and 70 cents and the buyer paid shipping. And I think I probably got five other listings out of this one box of Legos. So if you know what set it goes to, again, sometimes you can make more money selling it as a replacement part than as a completed set. All right. The next item is this animal adventure, baby blue narwhal plush stuffed animal. 
And I got this at the Goodwill bins. I sold it for $9.75 and the buyer paid shipping. And this one is from 2019. This is an Empire horse saddle. I always pick these up. Um, I find them a lot at the Goodwill bins. This one actually was marked Empire. Good idea to put the measurements there. I did get feedback that the saddle did not fit, which that's unfortunate. Um, but again, always put the measurements that way they can't come back on you and say, well, it looked bigger in the picture or I thought it was going to fit this horse and yada, yada. So uh, got this at the bins, sold it for $10.50 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. Here is another replacement part. Uh, vintage Barbie 1973 Barbie's pool party replacement part slide ladder orange. So this came from a garage sale, probably have about a quarter in this. What happened was it was an incomplete set. So I decided to part it out and I sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. And right here is the information. So include that in your photos. This is a broken process plastic company gray car and it is damaged. You guys, it's in poor condition. I got this at the Goodwill bins. I'm really not even sure what I was thinking when I picked this up. We should just call this video, what was I thinking? Because a lot of these things, <laughs> what was I thinking when I got this? It doesn't even have a front tail or a headlight. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I got it at the bins, so probably a buck or so by weight. And I sold it for $10 plus shipping. Can you believe it? I'm guessing somebody was buying it for parts, but that is awesome. The next is this Peppy Pets Bouncy Walking Action Stuffed Puppy Dalmatian Spotted Dog. And this, I believe, also came from the Goodwill bins. Yes, it did. And I sold it for $12.40 and the buyer paid shipping. And if you've never seen one of these before, oh my goodness, they are really funny. This is a dandy ballerina bunny rabbit and I got these at the bins and I got three of them. I had already sold one and this person bought two for $55.80 and then with discounts and shipping discounts, they were all in for $57.60 for the two. They were identical. This one here is a Fisher Price Loving Family Grand Dollhouse Replacement Window Box Flowers Plants. So again, a replacement part for a dollhouse and loving family is a great uh, dollhouse to sell replacement parts for. I sold this for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a just play Disney junior PJ Masks green Romeo villain toy action figure. I got it at the bin. So it's probably like a quarter and I sold it for $9 and 75 cents and the buyer paid shipping. This next item I got at a thrift store for 75 cents. It did take a long time to sell, but it sold. I sold it for $18 and 20 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So all your information is right here on this little sticker. Just transported that right into the title. The next item is this sweet cinnamon pumpkin lidded ceramic scented candle, Harry Slatkin from 2010. And I got this in a thrift store mystery box, probably not something I would normally pick up, but because I had it, I went ahead and listed it and I sold it for $15 plus shipping. Um, you will find that retired candles can sell very well since that are no longer made. Uh, type Bolo Buddies candles into the YouTube search bar and be prepared to be shocked. Oh my goodness, some of them sell for hundreds. The next one is this Blankets and Beyond plush. I got this at the Goodwill Bins and I sold it for $11.16 and the buyer paid shipping. Again, Goodwill Bins is by weight, so probably had about a buck in this. This is a Hallmark Ornament Magic Sound and Motion Steamboat Willie Disney Mickey Mouse. And this is what it looks like. Collectible for sure. And it was in the original packaging. And I also got this Disney pin. Um, this one, I can't remember where I got the pen. This one came out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino, amazing steals and deals, um, eBay store. That's his eBay store. Christopher, uh, picked up a dibble box and gifted it to me. And, um, I made a video on it and everything. And it's super fun to watch those videos, but, uh, this is one of the items that was in it. So check out that. And Donatella is now on uh, whatnot selling her items. So check her out over there. If you're not on whatnot, I do have a referral link down below where you can get um, $15 to shop when you join with that referral link. 
And again, that's in the description. So check that out. And let's see. So the buyer bought this Hallmark and this Disney pen for $43.55. And they were all in for $51.53. The next item is this vintage Wilson brown leather keychain. I picked this up at the Goodwill bins. Again, I just wanted to see if I could sell it. And I did. It sold for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. So probably had maybe a quarter in this. This is a Longenberger pottery candle holder, paprika, no box, got it at a church sale for $1, took a best offer of eight and the buyer paid shipping. So mm, not a great flip and kind of a pain to ship just because it's breakable. Um, but some Longenberger uh, pottery does really well. So definitely look it up. This is a Bratz Rock Angels recording studio play set. I got this at a garage sale, I'm going to say probably three to four years ago, maybe longer, took a long time to sell. Now, I will say the other items that I got at that garage sale, a lot of them sold really quickly. This one, for some reason, just took a while to sell. Sold it for 15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Betty Lou McCoy and Josie McCoy Boyd's Bears plush stuff, 2001 with tags. I got this at the Goodwill bins and I sold this for $26 and the buyer paid shipping. And there it's got the original tags. Super cute. The next one is this vintage signed ambassador roadrunner pin brooch gold tone with a green eye. And I sold this for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. And this was purchased by um, a viewer, Pinky Second Hand Store on eBay. Thank you so much for your purchase. I appreciate it. And she is just a huge support to the reseller community. And she bought this little Roadrunner. The next item is this um, noisemaker. And this also came out of a mystery toy box from Auctions for You. If you're not following Auctions for You, definitely check her out here on YouTube. She sells. Um, mystery boxes and different things on YouTube, but she is also now on whatnot. So definitely check her out as well. And I sold this for $22.75 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Mac Tools plush stuffed animal monkey mechanic, 12 inch male red hat holding wrench. And I got him at the Goodwill bins and sold him for $24.80 plus shipping. He was Mac Tools. So um, definitely uh, a brand to be on the lookout for. This is an American Girl doll Mia Hockey Stick Girl of the Year. So it's just her hockey stick. I got this at the Goodwill Benz, sold it for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. And I get my bubble, my bubble wrap from American Bubble Boy. And there's a referral link down below if you want to use that um, to get some bubble wrap. And inside the bubble wrap, it starts with a tube. And I used the tube to ship this hockey stick because I did not want it to break. So I put it inside the bubble wrap tube. So there is a little reseller tip and trick for you. And uh, the buyer messaged me and was really, really happy that I protected it with that tube. So uh, just a little, just a little thing you might not think about doing. I also stick Barbie dolls in those sometimes. Anything that's kind of awkward that I want to protect, um, those are great for that. So something else you can do with your bubble boy uh, bubble wrap, save that uh, middle center piece and use it to ship things. All right. This is another cat's meow. Got these at a garage sale a long time ago. I have sold two. I have 43 left. I think I've sold some on Poshmark also. Um, can't remember if I've sold any on Mercari yet, but I do sell on Poshmark and Mercari and whatnot. Um, all the referral links are down below. If you join Poshmark with my referral link, you'll get $10 to shop. If you join Whatnot with my referral link, you'll get $15 to shop. If you join Mercari with my referral link, you'll get $10 to shop and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So all those referral links are down in the description of the video. Um, I appreciate it when you guys use those. I do get a commission or money to shop. Uh, when you guys use those links. So it is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you for taking a look at those. And I sold this for $8.67 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys. So what do you think? 
Um, you see here, it says buy one, get one 25% off with Bolo coupon. I have a video here on YouTube that teaches you how to build in a coupon like this into your eBay store so that it'll show up on all of your listings. So if you'd like to learn how to do that, just type in Bolo Buddies coupon into the YouTube search bar and you can find that and it will help you um, also send out coupons to past buyers and people that follow your store. Great way to generate sales. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.